Hey, this is Anthony Thrips. So here you go watch Decide and Ride. Welcome to our detailed breakdown of the new AGV K3 SV helmet available at Revzilla.com. God bless AGV, they've thrown us a curveball. This is the K3 SV. Now we know AGV already has a K3 helmet. It's gonna start around a buck 70. The K3 SV starts around 200 bucks, and really what they're calling out with SV is the drop-down integrated sun visor. So you're still ECE DOT rated. Now you have a drop-down sun visor, and they've managed to only add a little bit of weight, which we really dig. And by the way, this is a Siemenschelli tribute graphic. That's probably gonna tack about 50 bucks onto the price tag. But here's where that gets a little screwy. When I'm gonna retract this sun visor, and I'm gonna take this helmet, I'm gonna turn it to the side, what you're gonna see in the K3 SV is basically a complete departure from the original K3. This is a brand new shell. Two shell sizes, a completely new shell shape. Notice the aggressive hawk's bill on the front, cutaways for the collarbone, brand new vent scheme, and they even gave it a brand new liner. So instead of making a K5 or something, they still have this as the K3 SV, but again, you're getting almost a full helmet overhaul for another 20 bucks. I think if you're considering a K3, you buy an SV and you're just getting a more updated helmet. That is my story and I'm sticking to it. Now, handful of graphics, handful of solids. It's a thermoplastic, which is really a polycarb on the outer shell. And again, it's going to come in around that $200 mark, but there's a lot of helmet for 200 bucks. And the shape of it standing on the DNA of what we've seen from Pista to Corsa to now GT Veloce. And now you have again that big Hawksbill attack mode here on your K3 SV. Now from a sizing standpoint, I'm gonna call it intermediate to neutral oval. Gives you a little bit more area in the temples, a little bit more area in the cheek pads, whereas the original K3 was very, very snug, a little bit more narrow. This guy gives you a little bit more room, but I will say that for you guys that love a snugger fit, you can always swap out the cheek pads and make it a little tighter if you want. And keep in mind, if you're concerned about that fitment, we ship it free over 39 bucks. You can always get a hold of us. But really importantly, I'd love for you to follow my finger. Click here, subscribe to us at Revzilla TV. Leave me your comments, your questions, and what you love or hate about the new K3 SV on our YouTube channel. Hi, Viz Brian. We'll be there to make you smile, tell you jokes, and answer your questions. Now, diving into the helmet itself. Looking at it, we talked about the polycarb nature of it, which means it's basic. That's how you're saving some money. You're adding a little bit of weight, but again, it's not way over the top. We talked about your anti-scratch, anti-fog sun visor, which is a nice touch, but now you're getting into some of the other feature sets like ventilation that they stole from the top of the food chain. Notice, we're gonna have vents just like the other helmets now on the inside. It's operable with a finger switch that's going to vent in here into the visor. You're also moving up. You're going to see that you have big vents on the brow, and then you have this really big ram air vent, which they've never done before, on the center line on top of the helmet. And we actually found that that flowed a tremendous amount of air. You can see how this guy leans to the left. That's that point on the hawk bill. It will balance, but again, it's very, very aggressive in its shape. If we turn it around to the back, you're gonna notice passive vents along the back. That's that passive venturi. Also notice too that the original K3 had a bolt-on Spoiler, this guy's now integrated that ridge. It's gonna create some nice downforce and aerodynamic stability, but you're also going to get the benefit of that warm or that fast moving air, area of low pressure, pulling that warm morse air out of the helmet. And again, I just love the Simoncelli graphic. I was a fan of Marco. He went, he left us too soon, but I love that they're still carrying on his legacy by doing tribute graphics to him. Very, very cool guy, great racer, and it looks great on this helmet done in the Simoncelli 58 San Carlo Grassini colorway. Now, if we look at the side, we open up our face shield here, basic face shield change mechanism. You just pop that bad boy out, very, very simple. It's got a lighter weight walled construction around the gasket that's gonna create that seal for mother nature. Again, if you step up into the skyline, the horizon, GT Veloce, it gets a little beefier, the components get beefier, the shield gets a little better with that race two visor they're using all the way up to the Pista. Again, this is more of an entry level helmet, but it's fully featured. And then again, you're also going to have a city position here on the front, which is really nice. You're able to crack it. You see what I just did there. But the other nice part is they've given you detents. And this is the helmet in the line that has full detents, which are the ability to stop it at different positions up and down. And you don't get that when you get a little bit higher in the line in some of the race inspired helmets. They're either up, down, or in that cracked position. Now, if we move into our guts, let me grab my donut up here, and I can never tell you what manufacturer it is, but it's not AGV. It's the coolest looking donut I have. Let's look at the bottom. You're gonna see where your head goes, both in and out. They've redesigned it. This is much more new school from AGV. They're using a sanitized Lycra, which wicks really well, is extremely soft against your skin. 
Again, adding to the comfort level. They've redesigned how they've done their cheek pads. They're integrating them with the neck rolls now. Again, progressive thinking from those guys, and you still have the ability to remove the chin curtains as well. So if I reach in here and I pull it out, the only thing I'm gonna tell you as I work through this helmet, what my gripe is, is that a lot of the AGV helmets are now set up for an OEM Bluetooth unit, which we haven't got our hands on here in the States yet. It should be coming soon. Or actually, at the time of you watching this, check Revzilla, we may already have it. But at the time of shooting this, we did not have it. What I'll say to you is that they worked in a speaker pocket. If I can get these bad boys out here, they're definitely snapped in. They worked in a speaker pocket into the helmet, into the helmet itself. There we go, that snaps back on right there. And what they've done is they haven't, in my opinion, given you enough room to utilize a third-party comm unit. So again, your Cena's and your Cardos, you're going to have to wedge your speakers in there. They're not going to fit as perfectly as if you're using the OEM Fitment. Now, I get it. They want to make their own Bluetooth device, but again, that's just something you need to know going into this helmet. Now, if we look at the neck roll cheek pad system that I just pulled out, notice it's Lycra. Notice it's all-encompassing. It goes all the way around. It snaps on the cheek pads. There's Velcro on the front. Again, no surprises there, aside from the fact that it's a completely new design from AG and it has a really nice contour to it. If we work our way back into the helmet, now I'm gonna snap out my comfort liner the same way that you'd expect me to snap out the comfort liner on many other helmets. Notice it comes out, it has nice big cutaways, it's 3D in its shape, it's going to flow a good amount of air, and it is done in that new school Lycra. Sanitized, it's going to wick sweat, it's gonna be antimicrobial. You can easily pull this guy out, run it underwater, let it dry, and you've essentially given the update, or you've given a refresh to the inside of your liner. Now what I do really like about it, is I like all the venting and all the channeling. And you're gonna see how that works from back to front all the way up, huge vent right up there at 12 o'clock high on the top area of the helmet. That was the vent we found the most effective and all that air is gonna flow back across the top of your scalp and exit down at the neck roll. Again, they did a really rock solid job on this helmet. They've completely redesigned it. They've named it the same as a previous name and added an SV at the end. Who knows if they change that over time, but what I'm cluing you guys in on is that you should pay attention because it's not just a sun visor update to the old AGV K3, which fit a little bit more narrow and did not have this look, did not have this level of functionality, and I would say did not steal any DNA from the piece to GP that they developed in the last few years, but you are getting stolen DNA, even the shell shape here, on the K3 SV. So now that you know what's new, everything, and how it's positioned at a more entry level, make your own decision, but read other rider reviews at revzilla.com by clicking right there. You don't have to take my word for it, but I'm really happy to help. See what other folks have said after they bought this and reviewed it on our site. As always, we'll ship for free over 39 bucks, and if you wanna to talk to a gear geek, that's what we're here for. See us at revzilla.com or 877-792-9455. Thanks for watching our detailed breakdown. Remember, subscribe to me on Revzilla TV. I'm working so hard for you. I'm Anthony, we'll see you next time.